Hello YouTube and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Today I'm coming to you with um, food empties. And these food empties are some lower carb and lower sodium, lower sugar items that I've been eating. I'm not exactly keto, but I have made a change in my lifestyle to where I do want to eat lower carb and lower sugar items. I want it to be a full blown lifestyle. That's why I'm not keto because keto is a way of eating that I don't think I can do for the rest of my life. So um, right here, I'm gonna put up on the screen what I'm looking for when I see a low sugar and lower carb item. I'm looking for about 400 milligrams of sodium per serving, 15 grams of carbs are less per serving and 10 grams of sugar are less per serving. Now that's what I'm looking for and as long as that they meet those guidelines or less in their nutrition label, I'm fine. And I do believe I will lose a little weight with that. I actually have been losing weight with that. I've lost about six pounds, but uh, it's been a, about um, two months, a two month span, but I've lost about six pounds. So it will be a slow going process. But like I said, this will be a lifestyle for me. So I really feel like um, this will be something that's going to work for me and it could work for you if you really want to try it I haven't seen this is not your conventional diet or whatnot But like I said, I'm making a lifestyle change not a not a dieting change or whatnot like that I'm not doing a diet or doing a challenge. No, I am making a full-blown lifestyle change So I have been looking at different snacks and drinks when I really looked at the whole pail of items that I got for you guys um, it really looked like a lot of snacks and drinks and that's pretty much what I do I snack and I drink I'm not even a lot I drink more than I snack like drinking a lot drink a whole lot so I'm really trying to find items that fit the bill for me that won't be so as fattening as straight up sodas you know like straight up sodas and real sugary juices okay so let's just jump right into it I have first the fiber one chewy bars they say they're protein bars okay and i'm gonna let you know exactly what they have in them they have um only 130 130 milligrams of sodium per serving and a serving is one bar and then it has 16 grams of carbs but it has six di eight dietary fibers which means it's only eight grams of carbs net carbs in each um bar only eight grams of carbs in, in each bar and then only three only six sugars six sugars in each bar which is less than 10 so i'll take it these are what the bars look like right here okay and my review is that i absolutely love these i absolutely love these this is a lower carb snack that you can get and i absolutely love them these are the fiber one protein one protein bars peanut butter chocolate flavor okay they are only um Let's look right here, 130 milligrams per serving, which is one bar each. And I do, I actually have a bar here, one bar each. And then it has 11 carbs per bar, but, but five dietary. So it has only six net carbs per bar, only six carbs per bar. Okay. And then the sugars are less than one gram of sugar, less than one gram of sugar. Okay. And these right here. Okay. We hated them. We literally hated them here are what the bars look like and i hope you're getting the right picture of them i turn it around these are what the bars look like okay and at the end we had almost the whole pack left almost the 10 comes in a box one two three four five six seven eight i made my son do the bug eat one he acted like he was enjoying it but he never ate another one and then i ate a half of one i couldn't even get through a whole one sometimes things the taste you can't even get through it and a lot of time i don't like to waste money so i would have eaten the whole box if i could but this but the box and all these bars are going in the trash after this video i would not rebuy and the other bars i just showed yes i'm definitely going to repurchase those we have, this is on my own personal opinion though. A lot of people might like those bars, you know, you never know. Uh, this is the Crystal Light. Uh, these are the pitcher packets. This right here will make you a two quart pitcher. Like if, it, if your pitcher is a half a gallon, it'll make that up for you with the with one of these packets will make that up for you. And I've been making pictures of these for my family every day. We absolutely love them. I mean, Crystal Light, I mean, who doesn't? 
um, fruit punch. This is the fruit punch. And then I get these to go into, I have two glass pitchers that I love to fill up every day with something to drink. And this is a great alternative to Kool-Aid, which is a real sugary drink. Um, this has only 15 milligrams of, car of sodium in each. Um, I'm a little... I don't think I'm a little nervous, but I'm just a little gibberish today. Lord, uh, 15 milligrams of sodium in each serving, only two carbs in each serving, and zero sugars. It's probably added, you know, it's probably sweetened with some other kind of sweetener, okay? And this is what it looked like. This is the fruit punch kind, and you can make up pictures of uh, crystal light with this, okay? And me and my family, we absolutely love it. We make it up. Put it in the freezer for about an hour and a half. Get it frosty cold and then put it in the refrigerator. When you drink it super cold like that, mm, the best uh, afternoon drink you can actually have. Okay. Crystal Light. Can't beat it. Okay. Um, just a reminder. Yeah, I have a lot of new drinks and foods that I had tried. And they are all lower carb, lower sugar items. And I'm just letting you guys know which ones I like and don't like. And you know, ones that I will go ahead and buy again. I have no problem with getting again. Now we have this ocean spray right here. This was a six pack of little juices. Uh, this is your ocean spray, 100% juice, cranberry, concord, grape flavor. Okay. And it says no sugar added. I just grabbed it. I did even look at the nutrition label. The nutrition label says when it said no sugar added. Um, now the sugars that is in it could actually be from the fruit. Okay. Um, so it says no sugar added, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, one cup of fruit, 100% vitamin C. Now that's what it says on this label. And it says, um, 25 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is a bottle. And um, then it says the carbs are 45 grams. I mean, I just, I can't handle that. My carbs need to be 15 grams or less per serving. So I actually did not even drink these uh, juices. We did, uh, I, and somebody gave me an idea to dilute them with water, but I was going to do that, but I changed my mind after um, doing it, but he had an episode where I have a two-year-old and we gave him one of these to drink and my Lord, he... He had the trots for a while all night, so and was having accidents and everything. So, uh, it, it, I'm I'm sure with it being cranberry juice, it could be like a um a laxative or whatnot. So I just decided to just do away with them. And so the carbs is 45 grams per serving, and the sugars. This is definitely not. It's a 40 or uh, 40 grams per serving. So in every bottle you drink, you're drinking 40 grams of sugar. That really is supposed to be about your intake per day not per juice so i definitely won't be buying these again i just did not look at the label and yeah um the sugars may be natural sugars i'd have to check it out but for me this is a no-go and just because of the way it did do the but stomach i just really kind of don't want nothing that's going to do me like that anyway all right so a no-go i will not purchase this no sugar ocean spray juices anymore this minute made zero sugar fruit punch drink absolutely delicious the only thing about this bottle is that you can walk around with it and pretty much drink on it all day you need to have your own personal one the juice bottle is just not as big as i really would like it's a 52 fluid ounce it's not as big as i would like for it to be i probably could drink this up in one day let's look at the label 15 milligrams of sodium per serving um they said you can drink eight ounces at a time you know so this probably they said it has about seven you know about seven cups but you know if you're going there drinking and drinking and then you go back and drink and drink you know uh the carbs only one gram of carb each serving and zero sugars no sugars added zero sugars okay so this is the minute made zero sugar fruit punch i do know that they have a pink lemonade and they have a pink lemonade i have not yet I uh, found it in a Walmart or anywhere else just yet. But when I find it, I really want to try the pink lemonade and the lemonade one also. This, these are delicious. Um, light on the sugar, so your head itself won't be hurting after you drink it. Very good, lower carb, lower sugar item to drink. Get it good and cold, you definitely roll it. Okay, I love this. We'll buy it again. These right here, you guys, are the Atkins Protein Wafer Crisp peanut butter filling in the middle okay so they're wafers and they have like this peanut butter in the middle okay um these have only 
three net carbs in each bar and only one gram of sugar in each bar. So very low carb, low sugar. Uh, the sodium, I always look at the sodium also because we do have someone in our family that suffers from high blood pressure and they have been doing great. It is my husband. He hasn't been on medicine for almost two years now and I wanted to keep it that way. I want his blood pressure to stay low and him to stay happy and healthy. So I don't want too much sodium to be in the items that we buy. A lot of keto items, the sodium is through the roof. A lot of keto items, the sugar is through the roof. So I'm looking at all three um, in order to make um, better decisions for my family. So the sodium is 90 milligrams per serving, which is great. Uh, total carbs is only three, I just told y'all, three net carbs per um, bar and only one gram of sugar per bar. Peanut butter wafers, only five come in this box. I need to find a 10 pack box. These are delicious and they said filling uh, i don't know about it being too filling but yeah it will satisfy that sh you know that sweet craving if you have a sweet cra craving and you want something sweet to snack on and you eat one of these bars yeah i believe it does it does satisfy that because i never ate more than one bar at a time i ate one bar and i was pretty satisfied so yes these are great it's so many acting choices out there to choose from. I will be trying many, many more of them, but um, some of them you can miss me with. So, but these right here, I truly love and will buy again and will recommend if you're looking for something lower carb, lower sugar, um, sweet to snack on. All right, this is your crushed pineapple. Uh, it says sugar free uh, drink packets, okay? Uh, you still are having a good water intake the packets i mean i can't even make a circle of how much just how much um powder you'll put in your water just a really little bitty bit just to make your water give your water a different taste so that you know you can drink your water you have real good water intake and it's been working for me um zero sodium milligrams of sodium in this uh, the carbs are two carbs uh per packet that's it and zero sugars I mean, this is very, I really like it. And I like to add it to my um, drink, to my waters. I always just add this to my waters. Uh, the pineapple is really good. The pineapple is really good. Some of them are, you know, are not exactly what I like, but I love these pineapple ones. So I'll continue to get these, you know, ever so often. I mean, not just all the time, but ever so often. My really go, my real go-to for the drink packets would be Crystal Light because I, I don't know. I just feel like for some reason, I feel like they even seem a bit lighter, a bit less sweeter. You know what I'm saying? So, but I will use these every once in a while, you know, in order to increase my water intake. And it's been really working for me, really working for me, adding drink packets to my um, waters. Okay, we have the freeze dried fruit crisp variety pack freeze dried fruit crisp variety pack okay they have uh, a little packet that has pears in it a packet that has apples in it and a packet that has uh, bananas and strawberries in it mixed together i don't know why they mix the strawberry and bananas but anyhow okay so um these little bags right here they have pretty much zero sodium in them and each bag has between uh eight they have between eight to nine grams of carbs in each little bag, eight to nine grams of carbs, you know, so not bad on the carbs. The sugars are running between seven and eight grams of sugar for each bag, which is kind of up there because my, my limit is 10 grams per serving, but that's fine. As long as it's 10 or less, I said I let it roll, especially if I like the way it tastes. It's kind of hard to find the diet items and the low carb and, and the no sugar items and all this and that. They taste worth a darn. So if I like the way it tastes and it hit the numbers that I need to hit, it's definitely a go for me. So this is how that package look on the front. And I only has six little packs in it. Um, I really want to find these. I, I want to find these like in a bigger pack. I absolutely love these. These are delicious. I like the way the freeze dry tastes. It just kind of like melts in your mouth. It kind of like melts in your mouth. Uh, I'm going to say kind of like an alka seltzer, but it definitely don't taste like no alka seltzer. It melts off in your mouth. When they're dry, they have that type of texture where they'll just melt down in your mouth. And I really like this. And when they say, I hope you guys can see that 100% fuel. 100% fuel. 
they mean it okay so this one right here is the apple packet right here i just wanted to show you oh i hope you can see it right there ingredients i hope you guys can see that is fuji apples the only ingredient is fuji apples so and then with this one the only ingredients is bananas is bananas and strawberries the only ingredients is bananas and strawberries you guys might can't see that but if you buy it you'll know yourself the only thing in here is the food they're freeze drying the fruit. So that's why the sugars are kind of so high, but I'm not too scared of the sugars because they're natural sugars. And you do you know, natural sugars do not even count towards your sugar intake during the day. So I have definitely been implementing way more fruits into my diet. I love oranges, I love bananas, um, I love grapes. Um, avocados, I'm trying to start incorporating. I really just kind of buy the fresh made guacamole and I'm gonna start using that on different stuff. I have not used it in a recipe yet, but I do have some in my refrigerator right now. And, I, and when that get empty, I will let you guys know how that went. Cause you know, I haven't been an avocado fan, fan but I plan on trying to start incorporating that into my diet. Okay, so these little packets right here are good. I can actually eat two at a time. I'm not even gonna tell you no story, but they're good. It's a natural. It's all natural sugars. It's all fruit, and I just I love enjoying these right here. I actually like dried fruit also, like dried banana crisps when they're real crisp. But I like them like this also when they're kind of soft, and you can just kind of um, you know they kind of soften in your mouth as you eat them. And I love fresh fruit also. So man, I'm on the fruit game. I would be rolling, but you know you do want to always take fruit in eat it in moderation because of the natural sugars that are in it okay those fruit will definitely be buying again i really want to find them in a bigger package that's all i need to find them with more in them okay this right here is the tea some tea packets oh this is made with black tea by crystal light okay and it's the little package that you can put in your water it's the peach iced tea okay and this only has it don't have no sodium in it and only one carb in the packet only one carb in the packet and zero sugar so very good to add to your water uh this peach tea is okay it's midline i will buy it again because in desperation i will throw it in my water and i can definitely tolerate it i can still tolerate it the peach this peach black iced tea I don't, I just, I literally don't know. It's something about it. It's a taste too that I kind of don't care for, but I will drink it. It's very tolerable. So if you're looking for something, lower carb, lower sugar, and you can throw it in your, to drink, especially besides, you know, uh, the zero calorie sodas, this is a good um, replacement for drink and you'll still have some flavor going. Okay. So these are okay. I will buy again. I will have them in my stash, you know, because when it get down to the nitty gritty, if I don't have anything in there, I will throw this in my water in a minute. Sometimes I'll do it even if, you know, I still got packets in there now and I use this up. So I will go to these sometimes. Sometimes I'll just have a taste for some tea. So like a tea-like taste. So I'll go for these sometimes. Who don't know about the Nestle Pure Life water, okay? Just Nestle Pure Life water, nothing's in there. Great, great, great. But as you guys know, I've been pulling out so many different type of packets that I use with my water. That's because I'm not, I'm not um, a huge fan of drinking just straight water. And if it is water, it got to be straight cold. Um, but I have been using a lot of packets. What I don't like about this is when I put this bottle, when, when I put the top back on, it's hard to know if it's all the way down. And sometimes when I start shaking, it comes out. But that probably comes from me not taking the time to make sure it's on there. And this is your 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle. Those packets make this really, really sweet. So I have bumped up to the 20 ounce bottles, okay? So I'm going to see how the packets do in them. They're probably lighting up a lot because you got almost four ounces more of water. If I have to, I will boost up to 24 fluid ounce of water for my packets. You know, um. I love that the water don't be tasting like water, but I'm not going for just a straight sweet taste. I'm going for, you know, adding flavor to my water, but still being mainly water, mostly water. So um, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know straight water is always the best, but, you know, you have those people who just, uh, that water just, I don't know. I don't know why I just don't want to be drinking no straight water. <laughs> but... Um, I am making strides to make sure I'm getting mostly water. So I do now have 20 ounce bottles of water and I will let you guys know how that goes. Now to one of my favorite parts, but 
I love soda. Love it, love it, love it. I always have a been, I always have been a big soda fan. And then on top of that, I like dark sodas. So really, which is the worst. I like dark sodas, and on top of that, love sodas. I knew I was gonna have to do something because sodas have between 30 to 40 grams of carbs in them per can. Per can. And not, there's no telling how many sugars. I never really just kind of peeped that. Okay, so they have started making these sodas that are zero sugar sodas that has, um, this right here is your Dr. Pepper Cherry. Dr. Pepper Cherry. They're starting to do some of everything with the zero sodas, and I'm loving that. Uh, we probably will do a Walmart delivery uh, grocery shop every week, but um, every other week I'll put soda on there. Like one week I have soda on there, then the next week I won't have soda on there. And then it will always be the zero sodas. Um, only in desperation will I go ahead and do a diet soda, but I really like the zero the zero sugar sodas. I really like those. I really like those. Okay, so this is the Dr. Pepper Cherry uh, Zero Sugar Soda, okay? zero sugar soda okay and there is 60 milligrams of sodium in this can not bad at all the carbs are zero and the sugars are zero i'm sure you know they're adding some kind of something this and that blah 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 but it's bet i believe this is better than drinking straight sodas okay, i'm telling you those carbs and those straight sodas are rough Ooh, but they are so delicious. But anyway, I haven't drunk like a regular soda in a while. But I have drunk one this year. I'm not going to tell no story. Sometimes when I go to gatherings and stuff, if they have them, I'll drink it. I don't be like, I don't drink nothing but zero soda. Why well, y'all ain't got that and this and that? No, I just go ahead and grab it and drink it, you know, if that's what they have. Um, so, yeah, this is delicious. But it's not my favorite one that Dr. Pepper has made. Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Soda. It got kind of a funny aftertaste. This one does. It's kind of... It's not my favorite, but it's really good, and I'll, I'll drink it regardless. I would definitely drink it. I mean, just like the um, the tea for the crystal light. I'll definitely drink it, but it just it wouldn't be my first pick, you know. But this was, this was my first time trying the cherry Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, okay? Great alternative if you want to do uh, What I was saying is that if, you, if you're if you a soda fan and really, really like soda, um, a good alternative is the zero, um, the zero Sugar Soda, but, you know, there are different things out there, and different stuff out there diet soda is it really worse for you than the, the regular soda what i'm looking at is the label and the label is telling me that the carbs are a lot lower and the sugar is a lot lower so that is what i'm going to go by as of now i'm just going by nutrition labels i'm not getting all in depth with things and with me doing it like this keeping it simple is definitely uh, it's been working out for me i have been losing weight um and i'm not just trying to lose weight i just want to feel better i have i definitely have been feeling better losing a little bit of weight and just enjoying life because this will definitely be a lifestyle. This is the way I'm going to eat for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm really just going to enjoy this. And I feel so bad about eating, you know, like just really heavy sugars and heavy carbs. Hello, Duna Bug. Okay, he has made it into the picture. All right, this is your Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda Zero Sugar. This is your Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda Zero Sugar. Okay. And the same thing as the other one. This is my absolute overall favorite. Oh my gosh. It tastes so close to Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Mixed in, you can taste you can taste both of it. You can definitely taste all of it. I really, really love it. I absolutely love it. So um when you want when you're craving a soda, you know, this is the way that I go to the zero sodas. And they're making so many different ones. Now they have A and W root beer. They have uh orange sunkiss zero sodas, uh, Mountain Dew Zero. They're starting to do a lot of it with that zero. So I'm really enjoying that. But I don't um I do them in moderation, not just just a whole lot at a time. <laughs> You guys would never believe it, but these townhouse crackers definitely fit the bill. Townhouse light and buttery original crackers. So you can eat five crackers for the serving. I usually probably do two servings every time I eat them, though. You can just eat and eat these. These are so delicious. 150 milligrams of sodium. Uh, the total carbs is nine, only nine grams of Per, so if you eat two servings, it's going to be 18 grams, which is a little over what I'm looking for per serving, though. Let's think about it per serving. So per serving is only nine grams of carbs per serving. And then there's only two sugars per serving. Not 
bad at all. You're still, you can eat two servings and still be in your single digits of your sugar for that day. Um, I love these crackers and I, I definitely, we eat them I, probably on an every week basis. These and your rich crackers you can eat when you're looking for something uh, lower carb, just lower carb and lower sugar. I'm not looking for no carb, no sugar, or else, you know, single digit, um, single digit per serving, but I am just, you know, looking for lower carb, lower sugar items. And we definitely eat these all the time. Delicious. Okay, next we have Crystal Light Strawberry Orange Banana. These are some pitcher packets. Now, this one is the Strawberry Orange Banana. And as I told you guys, no sodium is in none of the Crystal Lights. Um, and they only be having one to two carbs per serving. This one has two two carbs per serving. But most of them has only one carb per serving, you know, and zero sugars. So this is your Crystal Light, the Banana Orange, Strawberry Banana Orange and you can make this up in pictures. Now you can get the packets that you can throw in your water bottle or you can get the packets that you can make pictures up with for you and your whole family. I really love the Crystal Light. I haven't found um, a flavor that I don't too much like, but with the picture packets, I've only had the Fruit Punch and the Banana Strawberry Orange. The Fruit Punch and the Banana Strawberry Orange. I would like to find more flavors in the picture packets. So I'll be looking out for those and let you know how I like those flavors. Definitely will be buying that again for me and my family. It's pretty much going to be the Kool-Aid replacement around around here. That would definitely be the Kool-Aid replacement. <laughs> okay, this right here is your A&W uh, drink packets. Um, and these right here, like I told you, they, they have no sodium in them. Only two grams of carbs and no sugars, okay? This is my absolute favorite um, drink packet to put into water. My absolute favorite drink packet to put in water. When you get it really, it get, the water got to be really, really cold, though. I can't drink it kind of lukewarm or nothing. It has to be really, really cold. You put this A&W in there. It tastes just like root beer, but, you know, it's just like a, a root beer drink. A root beer juice, not root beer soda or something like that. Really, really good. I like it. My drink packets, I really, I enjoy putting them in my water. I only have a package of these. Um, I like these. I do. But it is an acquired taste. It's the Slim Fast zero sugar added keto fat bombs this is the caramel cup one i will also eat the peanut butter ones these are good to me and they're kind of filling though you got to eat but one and, you, and your sugar craving will be gone look little slim fast keto fat bombs right there just a little snack kind of and they're kind of like little reese cups and then you eat one and you eat one and then you know you can kind of um yeah, you kind of um, get your sugar craving down, you know, when you eat one of these. And it tells you right there, only one net carb, you know, only one carb in this. And I don't even know how, and it says um, no sugar added. So, yeah, very good uh, lower carb. And this is actually a keto snack. I do eat some keto snacks. Some of them are really good. These Slim Fat Fat Bombs, I like the peanut butter and the caramel ones. I really do. I enjoy those. And I would buy again, but I only eat them as on spells, you know, every once in a while. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you for being with me. I appreciate you for listening to me. Um, I just really thought there was some helpful, um, some helpful information that I could bring to YouTube and to others about, you know, me finding lower carb, lower sodium, and lower sugar items that I really like and the ones that I don't like. You know, just, just my opinion, but they still could be something you could try. You know you'll be on that lower sugar, lower carb um, kick when you're buying these items and you're eating them. You don't have to feel so bad about eating them unless you just want to go straight keto, man. Go for it. I have done the keto diet before and you're going to lose weight real quick. You definitely are. But, um, uh, this is a lifetime, a lifestyle uh, change for me as of now, you know, since I'm getting a little older. Um, these are the Lumpy Bumpy Naturally Sweet Gold Nugget Mandarins. Okay. Uh, they call it a sweet snack. This was a, little, a three pound bag from Walmart and they're kind of, they're made by Sunkiss. Um, it says easy to peel. They told the truth right there. Oh, I could peel them really quick for a Duna bug and for myself. I love them. I eat them two at a time. I really like these. Just a small little mandarin, but I love, love, love these. 
definitely incorporating these into my diet don't know if i'll get them every week but maybe every other week i'll get a three pound bag and me and dude but we'll eat them i'm not seeing too many more people around the house i only have my husband and an older son too this year at the house with us and i don't see them eating them too much so it'll be me and my two-year-old trying to eat them as you see he has made an appearance a couple of times in the video i just keep on going while he's around doing his thing so let me show you these so fruits you never can go wrong with fruits and vegetables in your diet and i actually actually love these gold nugget mandarins by sun kids okay thank you for listening thank you for watching uh please like share comment subscribe i i really would love to have you here i mean i enjoy talking and conversing with others on youtube um thank you for joining me and until next time youtube stay blessed